Hi everyone, I'm Matt with IFA Country Stores. Hey, today we're going to talk about preparing the hive for winter, uh, talk about feeding the hive up to and throughout winter time, uh, moisture control, rodent control, blocking the wind. So first off, we need to make sure our hive has enough food stores to get the bees through the winter. A couple ways to do that is you can go through the hive, check all the frames, count your frames, make sure you have enough in there. I prefer to weigh it to make sure I've got about 80 pounds of honey in there. Now this is a suitcase scale that I have. Just turn it on here and then hook this under the handle of the bottom box. I have separated the bottom box from the bottom board. So I'm weighing just the top two boxes. I lift up on that and I am at about 37 pounds. So I should be good on feed on this hive. I may throw a little more feed in there just to make sure it's got ample feed for the winter time. Uh, I can feed liquid feed through about the middle of October. After the middle of October, we are getting really short on time that historically speaking, we don't have enough time for the bees to render that liquid down to a honey. And so then they're left with excess liquid in the hive, excess moisture, which can cause condensation. So to feed through the winter time, we feed with a sugar board, such as this. Now this sugar board is available through IFA Country Stores. It is a wooden frame with a queen excluder on the bottom. It has 20 pounds of granulated fructose and sucrose uh, with probiotics. Uh, basically everything that's in the fat bee syrup we sell in the store is here in this, just in a, a granular form instead of a liquid form. There should be an opening at the front for air to flow through. What you'll do is you'll remove the top cover, place this right on your frames, and then put your top cover on the top of it with, again, with that moisture or that opening at the front. There's a hole drilled in the end so you can't have that airflow through, through the hive. That airflow will help with uh, ventilation on the hive. It also helps with the condensation. When you have good airflow, you have lower condensation in the hive. Having the sugar board on that hive will help absorb some of that condensation. Now, if you don't choose to do this method, you can find recipes online to make a hard tack sugar board uh, that works very well also. So whichever way you go about, make sure you have enough feed in the, in the hive throughout the winter. Be checking the way of that hive and making sure you're not getting too light, uh, as well as putting on a granular or a solid sugar board to give those feed, bees that extra feed they need. Now to combat the condensation the hive, sugar board is one method. The other method is using just a piece of wood such as this, about three quarter inches thick. Uh, with that three quarter of an inch thick board, I can come down here, lift the rear of the hive up, and slide that underneath, just like that. That tips the rear of the hive up, so any condensation that does stick to the top inner cover will run down the inner cover down the front wall and drip out the entrance, removing it from the hive. A third method for combating condensation in the hive is what's called a moisture quilt. So this, again, is the same dimensions as the hive. Uh, it does have a screen on the bottom, has four holes, two in each side, two there, two there, with a screen on the inside of it. That prevents rodents from getting into this. You'll fill this up just below the holes with a pine shavings or wood shavings and put that on the hive. Put your top cover on top of this. That allows the condensation to come and be absorbed by the wood shavings. And then the air flowing through these holes on top wicks that moisture out of the wood shavings. You may still need to go in and replace this uh, every month or so during the winter, uh, but you do want to monitor that if it if you open up the top cover and this is a frozen block of wood shavings, you need to remove that and replace it. Um, that is another method of handling the moisture. Now once you've got moisture under control, uh, we need to control the wind as well. And I know that sounds crazy, but when you think about the winter time, as the wind blows across the top of snow, it gets that little granulated sugary type snow and blows it around. When that gets blown into your home, that immediately melts from the warmth inside your home and soaks the floor. Okay, the same thing happens with the bees. When that 
snow gets blown into this entrance here, the warmth that the bees have the hive will melt that snow immediately, causing the bees to get wet, and we all know that wet bees are dead bees. So we've got to have some sort of a windbreak. Now how do we do that? We can put up a sheet of plywood with a couple of posts. We can use straw bales, hay bales. There are many methods to block the wind. Whichever works best for you in your scenario, go with it. Now for me, in this location where this hive currently sits, the predominant wind will come from the east and blow to the west. So I would need to put some sort of a barrier up a couple feet, three feet away from the hive right here, kind of on an angle. That way when that wind hits, it goes right around, but it blocks that entrance from the, of the hive from that wind. Uh, if you are using something such as straw or hay bales to provide your windbreak, you do need to have some rodent control out because rodents, mice specifically, love to build their nests inside the hay and straw bales. So putting a rodent station, bait station with uh, mouse poison, mouse bait under the hive will allow those mice something to chew on and eat without getting them up into the hive uh, or put it out around the perimeter of your, of your hay bales to protect that way. The, thing we don't want to have happen is those mice come in, eat the honey around that clustered ball of bees, and then the bees have no feed around them to eat, and they're going to starve. So we need to prevent that as well. The last thing we need to talk about is the snowfall. Now in the wintertime, when we get those nice soft drifting snowfalls down, that's when they really stack up overnight. If this front entrance of the hive gets blocked from snowfall, it's going to block off all your ventilation, you're going to get more condensation in the hive, and likely going to lose that hive. So a couple things you need to do, either number one, you need to go out every day and clear that snow out of the way, make sure that that entrance is nice and clear, or number two, provide some sort of a snow break or snow block to keep that entrance clear. One easy way to do that is to take a plastic corrugated sign, uh, the political signs that all of our political candidates are putting up in yards right now are a great way to do it. Ask your local political candidate if you can have a couple of their extra signs at the end of the season. Place that hanging over the front of the hive by about a foot to a foot and a half, and then put some rocks or something heavy right on the front edge of the hive, holding that down, and that will keep that stiff board sticking out. As that snow falls, it will accumulate on top of that sign and keep your entrance clear. You just need to remember to go out and knock that off every once in a while and keep that clear also. Uh, so just to recap today, we need to make sure that we've done mite control, uh, cleared out, as, killed off as many mites as we can. You want these hives to be as close to mite free as possible going into the winter months to give them the best chance of surviving. Make sure that you fed the hive nice and strong, nice and heavy, so they have all the feed stores they need. If you're worried you're a little low or you want an insurance policy, a sugar board is a great way to go. Put that on top of the hive, uh, on top of the top cover excuse me, on top of the frames with the top cover on top of it. Uh, that's going to give you those extra food stores the bees need to survive the winter. Block the wind so we don't get those little crystals of snow blowing in and getting moisture in the hive and provide rodent control so that any rodents that are around are consuming the rodent bait instead of our honey. And finally, just keep that entrance clear from the snowfall so the bees have the ventilation they need. Now the sugar boards, bait stations, uh, mouse bait, any of that stuff that you need should be located or should be available in your local IFA country store. If you don't see it on the shelf, please ask an associate. We'd be happy to help you find that. Uh, we want to do everything we can to help you guys keep your bees through the winter so that next spring we can split those bees and continue this fun hobby that we all enjoy. If you have any other questions, please ask your associates at your local IFA country store. Thanks for joining us and have a good winter.